My name is Jillian Beecham, second year fellow at OHSU in the toxicology program, and this is a video demonstrating the gastric lavage procedure. This is a procedure that we recommend rarely, and we recommend that you first discuss this with the Poison Center by calling 1-800-222-1222. This is a procedure uh, that we also recommend you practice at your institution in the simulation setting before performing on a real patient. This is a procedure that's indicated only in life-threatening tox ingestions, and in particular those that present within an hour. So we're assuming that there are still pill fragments uh, of the toxin still in the stomach. We recommend these for massive life-threatening ingestions for which there are no antidotes or specific therapies. For example, a life-threatening colchicine ingestion or life-threatening beta blocker or calcium channel blocker ingestion. And in particular, we recommend this in, in adults. This is not a safe procedure to perform in pediatric patients given the large bore of the tube. This can be performed on a patient who is protecting their airway. So in very rare cases, this can be performed on an awake patient. However, we predominantly recommend doing this in the intubated patient. And so the first step after gathering your supplies is going to be to perform an endotracheal intubation. So once the patient has their airway protected, and uh, in particular, we would recommend really making sure that the cuff is fully inflated just to protect the airway. Probably worth checking afterwards that you haven't overinflated the cuff after the end of the procedure. The first thing we'll do just to protect the patient is to place them in the left lateral decubitus position. And we'll simulate this here. We also have the bed uh, head down about 10 degrees. At this point, I'm going to take uh, my bite block, place that in the patient's mouth. Really, if the patient is intubated and sedated, you probably don't need to do this, but in an awake patient, you would certainly do this. And then we're going to take our orogastric tube and we're going to measure from the mouth down to the stomach so that I know exactly where I'm going to place this. At this point, with the patient in left lateral decubitus position, I can gently but blindly place the tube. Up to that marking, which I measured previously. At that point, I've set up my in bag, which has three liters of water in it, and that is connected here to the blue port. I have my out bag connected to the red port, and that is to a dependent three liter bag on the ground. The first thing I want to do is confirm placement. The red uh, port is the out port, and so I'm going to pull back on that out port to ensure that I have return of gastric contents. So first thing I'm going to do is pull back on the out port and see that I have gastric contents return. I do hear some gurgling there. And I have a little bit of return of my gastric contents. Uh, I'm then going to remove the port on the blue side. And by opening up that blue side, I leave a little space here for installation of our first dose of activated charcoal. I'm placing 50 grams of activated charcoal in uh, the blue port here. And at that point, closing that side, I'm going to go ahead and instill that activated charcoal. That is done because some of the gastric contents will move into the duodenum in this procedure and that will help adsorb that toxin. At this point, I'm ready to do the lavage procedure. So I'm going to open up uh, the in bag and begin using both plungers. Instilling fluid and simultaneously removing fluid. And this will be done with all of the fluid in the blue bag. Once that's been completed, the last thing I'll do here uh, is make sure that I empty out the remainder of the gastric contents by using 
just the red side. Once I've done that, and I've closed my clips on my tubes, what I'll do is remove the tube. And what I want to do here is remove that tube downwards in direction so that I prevent any leftover fluid in the tube from moving into the oropharynx. At that point, we'd like to instill our second dose of activated charcoal. And what I would do then is place a second, a new orogastric tube and instill 50 grams of activated charcoal through that orogastric tube. And that's the end of your procedure.